going to start looking at different hardware components used in communication systems and today specifically hubs, switches and routers which are all used to connect different devices on a network. Firstly we have a hub and basically a hub is the cheapest and easiest way to set up a small local and area network. Basically each port sends the exact same data to each other so if one node sends data to the hub all the other ports will receive the data going to all devices. So basically, data cannot be sent to a specific node. A basic hub setup would be the hub in the center and just three nodes being directly connected to it. So when node one goes to send data, both nodes three and two will receive the same data. Next, we have a switch. Okay, and a switch can send specific data to a specific node. They traditionally have more ports used on a switch and they can send data down multiple channels. So this is a great enhancement over the hub because it can spend, send one piece of specific data from one node to another. So if we take a look at our switch, we can connect our basic nodes to it once again, but also other devices as well, such as our servers, as well as a printer, all receiving specific data. Node one can send specific data with node two without it going to the other devices. A router then can send data to specific nodes on another network as long as they're using the same protocol. So it has multiple channels just like the switch but it can also send to other networks. So let's look at our router and I can connect obviously my computer to that but just like at home you probably have a router set up there too and new devices such as your television can also be connected to your router. I can also have wireless routers and in this case, we've connect a printer wirelessly to my router. This is the same for mobile phones and tablets within your household. You may also connect them wirelessly to your router. But the big thing we need to connect our router to is, of course, the internet. Once we have connected our router to the internet, all the other devices that are connected to our router will have internet access. So that's how it actually communicates with devices on other networks. So if we look at all of these devices together in one setup, at our heart, we'll likely have the switch, okay? And the switch, because of its multiple ports, can connect many devices. Now, the switch could be directly connected to the hub, which has a number of nodes connected to it, okay? And then through the switch, these devices all have certain services, okay? Directly connected to the switch as well may also be a number of other nodes as well as a server, okay? And thus, the server is accessible to all these other nodes. But if I want to get all these devices to access other resources, perhaps wirelessly, I need to use a router, okay? And the router will give us wireless um, access to devices. But of course, as mentioned before, it will provide internet access for all the other devices connected to the switch and hub as well. Okay, so it's important to understand the independence of the hub, switch and router and what it provides for us. So let's quickly summarize. Each device is is used in order to connect multiple computers and devices together. Here they are. The hub obviously gives us a basic setup, okay, which can send, a, uh, send data between devices, but all devices receive the same data down each port. Switches are independent and can send specific data down specific lines to specific destinations. And routers can go beyond the LAN and send data to specific nodes on other networks as well through internet technologies. So I hope you understand this summary.